Hey y'all. Yeah, I know my head's out of the picture. It's set up for this behind me for what I'm going to do here. Um, but I wanted to show you something before I get started. This here's a PV. And this bottom part, that's a PV jack. So for any of y'all that cut your own firewood and you cut it on the ground, you might want to invest one of these. You hook on the log, roll this right on up, and it'll hold the log right up off the ground. You can let go and it'll hold the end of the log right on up for you to cut. You don't rock your bar as much that way. Just something for y'all to consider. They're a really handy tool. Anyway, uh, had a few requests on seeing a whole log cut on up, seeing the whole operation. Well, I didn't bore you with loading up the log on here, so it's ready to go. Uh, this log is actually too big for the sawmill. With what they say they can be cut, it's a, uh, it's 25 inches, and yeah, 20 inches is it says is the maximum log. So uh, all I can do is I got to slab off the top five inches roughly, throw that aside, and then I'll start working the log.
Sorry guys, got to borrow your power for a minute. I should do some service work on this skill saw. So I'm too lazy. I can smell this thing smoking, but then again, I hate rigid tools. I think they're cheaply built. I think there's all they are is a bunch of disposables. No, I didn't buy it. It was given to me. I'd never, I'd never spend worthless money on this yet. Okay, now y'all can have your power back. Can you smell that saw burning up? I sure can.
see how the fun begins.
One thing about bibbed overalls, I can't keep the strap on. Some people would say I'm getting too picky about the squareness of it. But hey, they ain't cutting it, I am. And they ain't working with this wood, I am. Now this log should have two clamps on it, but the second clamp that I made, the handle's too long on this side of the log and it sticks out. But it's solid enough. Let's give her a go.
going to take your power again guys Trick that I learned a while back. If you have problems with your cord getting loose and it just keeps on wanting to unplug it real easy, what you do is take the end of the cord, plug it in here, and give it a little twist. Twist these things out both both ways. Just give it a little twist. See that? That way, when you stick it together, it creates more fr friction and it don't come apart as easy. Just a little something I learned years ago. You can do it with pliers too. You don't have to stick it in a cord and do that.
don't would appear I got quite deep enough on that rip on this board. So I'll have to catch up on that a little bit later. Gonna have to reset the depth of, of the skill saw.
I'm going to take a smoke break for a minute. With your permission, y'all. I hope you don't fire my ass. Um, with the log this size here, log this size here, the rest of it, now that it's sitting on the flat base, I don't need to clamp this log down. You know, the first log or two that I did, I was clamping them on down. But then one of my clamps vibrated kind of loose because I didn't do it properly. And the rest of them I've been cutting without without clamping it down at this stage of the game. Doesn't shake at all. Stays nice and solid. Um, when I get down to smaller boards, you know, when, when there's a smaller chunk down at the bottom, then I'll clamp it down. You know, but at that point I'll be also flipping it. I'm going to have to flip it a couple more times to get the boards that I want. Because what I want is to get two six by sixes side by side in this area here. So uh, I will be cutting down the bottom side of it. I'll be taking a couple more boards off of that too. Because I want to save this outer grain. That's your structural part of the wood. All this part out here. So all this stuff on the outside is really good quality lumber. All this heart stuff, even though it looks pretty, that's the stuff that just warps and twists and doesn't have the structural value uh, to it as the rest of the timber does. What you doing, Stuart? Probably you want to play, ain't you? All you people in Hurricane Alley, I feel sorry for you because man, we got beautiful weather. The only thing we got is a little bit of smoke in the sky. Not really too hot, not really too cold. I know my place around here right don't look like much. It's an old cheap trailer house that we live in. An old shop, old place overgrown. But man, I wouldn't try it, trade this slice of heaven for anything. Not the biggest mansion in the world. Sure would be nice to have a whole bunch of help cleaning this place up. But on the other hand, when people show up to help, I want to run them off. I don't want them here. <laughs> You take the good with the bad. By <coughs> <coughs> the way, I don't know how much longer this. Probably going to smoke a couple cigarettes. So, uh, any of y'all just watching us, you might want to just go ahead and skip through forward ahead a little bit. Find out where it resumes. This, uh, this part of the video is going to be boring. This sucker is going to be super long. Because I ain't editing it. You're going to see what you're going to get. But I know one thing. It's probably going to take a few hours to upload this video. Probably about four hours. I should have done this with a live stream.
maybe that's what I'll do because this is going to be quite a while. I'm going to end this stream right here. This is going to be part one and I'm going to go live. Yeah, it'll just make the rest of this live so I don't have to w upload for so long. Make sure you enjoy part two.